Aloha, Internet! I'm Hamster Bomb, and you are back for some more Pokemon Moon! Have I been forgetting to say Aloha instead of hello? I don't... or uh, I don't know. Alola, I mean. No. Gosh, I'm... Well, I'm all screwed up now, but anyway. We're gonna be continuing our escapades going for the Ultra Beasts today. But now, um, what we need to do is supposedly meet this crew at the motel... Um, somewhere around here. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but, um, that might be the building right over there. It's been a while. I haven't been on Mellow Melly in a long time, so I'm gonna fly up here and we're just gonna run down. So, um, anyway, we're gonna miraculously beat them there. How? I don't know, but they're all gonna be set up by the time we get there. At least that's what they implied in the last episode when we talked to, um, Looker and Co. So, um, where is this place here? What the heck? There's something rough rustling in the grass. That's different. Yeah, what? Oh, I don't remember that happening while I was here before. Ah, oh, crap. Well, we're gonna fight it, wherever it is. Hello! My bad. I didn't think we were gonna be running into anything. Watch, it was like, The Ultra Beast, it's already here. You know, Rathian, maybe it's best that I actually switch you for Mimikyu. Mimikyu is a better... Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, you listen to me now. Mimikyu's probably a better capturing Pokemon because of... Well... What? Oh, you can't run? Or is this a way to su Wait a minute. Did it respawn and it ran towards me again? Or is this a way to hunt shinies? I didn't think of this. Watch, you run. Does it respawn right now? No. Okay, whatever. That was just a fluke. Alright, but anyway... So, um, man, I was thinking that was going to be a shiny hunting method. Spiracles are finally actually kind of rare out here and very recommended if you are into shiny hunting, obviously, as I am, then, um, Smeargle is kind of ideal. <laughs> like, every, you need your Smeargle. So, um, anyway, finally out of the grass, um, looking around for this motel. It's probably it down there, as you see that building right here on our corner. Yep, we got a winner. Sweet. So, um... More than likely, our guys are in here. I'm gonna switch Mimikyu out to the front of the party. I got a feeling that Mimikyu is actually the key to success here because of Thunder Wave and three different type attacks. How you beat me, I don't know. Are you 13? I don't know. They look very young. Or she does. Looker doesn't. Thank you for joining us, Hamster. Us? Mr. Looker has already set out to gather more information about the UB. I have been waiting here on standby. I expect we have another visitor soon. A visitor? Mysterious person who claims to have some knowledge of the UB. He insisted that he would not share any more details with me until we met in person. But if he does have any real insight to the UB, then we cannot let this opportunity pass us by. I guess that's true. So, I think it is best if you and I wait to take any other further action now, and that we trust Mr. Looker to handle the field work. All right, surprising. Though I do feel bad asking him to do all the work for us. Right. The first time we ever actually asked him to do anything other than run in and scream something in another language. Must applaud Mr. Looker for that remarkable energy. He is in a class of his own, even within the elite members of the International Police. Of which, I think he's the only member that we know of. Nobody else we know. I would never have expected someone like him to serve under my command. Why? Because he's good at his job? Oh, hey! Don't mind if I let myself in. It's, um, uh, you who definitely should have been an Elite Four member. Too bad, because that would have been cool. I actually liked this guy. Well, sort of. Except for the... No, 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 no. The comical smirk. I find amusing, though. How you been doing? You doing well? Mr. Nanu. My, it really has been a long time. But why in the world are you... What if Nanu is actually the father that was taken away from those two instead? That would be odd. Well, he is in the police. Is he in the international police? That makes no sense. I'm your contact. You want to know about that monster, right? Monster. So you're the one who reached out to us. I forgot about this kahuna, meaning we were all supposed to go to. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's how I ended up getting stuck as a messenger. Oh. Wait a minute. But he's the one who backed out of everything. Why would he do this? 
And here you are, boy. This is really out of character for him. You acquainted with Hamster? Guess you could say that. And you have some information about the UB that has been sighted on the island. It's not like I've seen it or anything. I've just heard rumors, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, the other Kahunas, almost all of them, in fact, I think even you, have fought them. Why would you say that? And why did you come and not them? So, yeah, so then, could I trouble you to tell us, trouble you to tell us, uh, what is it that you know? Man, I could not read that sentence. What it, what was it that... Oh my gosh, I'm having issues today. Dyslexia is like really hitting my brain hard right now. What was it you guys were calling it? Beauty or something? Well, you'll find an inverted cavern. Thank you for telling me where to go this time. Well, if they told me last time, I didn't hear it. <laughs> not just one of them either. Four of the things? Beauty, the relationship between the two. The two. You said four. Wait, wait just a moment. How do you know our code names? That's highly classified information. No one wants to hear about that. Good luck. No one wants to hear about That is lazy script writing right there. That's what that was. No one wants to know. That was a very important question, but okay. Mr. Nana was in fact a superior of mine when I first joined the International Police. Okay, I never dreamed that I would meet him once again under circumstances such as these. But if the information that he shared with us is correct, then there are multiple UBs this time. The situation is dangerous if we don't act at once. It's un disastre! Why a different language each time? Mr. Looker, in English if you would. I'm sorry, but please, there's no time to care about my old habits. The UB sightings, I've gotten a hot tip. The perp is rail is uh, right here on Melly Melly. We knew that. It appears to be. Uh, wait. It appears it might be UB Beauty. It seems to be a beautiful yet dangerous UB that can move at incredible speeds. I gotta say, in my opinion, just my opinion, because they already released a long time ago what that one looks like. It's one of the creepiest and I think most disturbing looking Pokemon. It really bothers me. Especially, I think the worst part is they pair the phrase beauty with it. Because I look at it, I'm like, ooh, all the time, ooh. You know, it's like if they picked, like, Aromatisse and they called it beauty. That would even be closer, because then they could be, like, trying at least. You be whatever this one is, is like, ooh, ooh. Yeah, like, um, what is it called, like, Pheromosa or something like that? I don't know, I think it's a bug fighting type. It seems to be beautiful yet dangerous, you can move at incredible speeds. But that's not all. It is not one specimen, but four. Inverted cavern. Do we have to catch all four? So it appears that this information was correct. Of course, like, my least favorite one. And I gotta catch four of them? I guess that, I don't know. I don't know too many of them, but still. What's that? Did you say something just now, Chief? No, it's nothing. I understand, Mr. Looker. Then Mr. Looker, Mr. Hamster. Mr. Hamster! It looks like we have a job to do. My task will be to protect the populated areas. What is it? Okay. Hamster, you go where the sightings was reported. Mr. Lucky, you stay here and act as our backup once again in case we need it. Alright, so I get it. You guys aren't really going to do anything. I'm going to go do all the work. Hold it right there. Not again. This time I insist that I... Yes, please. Give me a hand. There's four of them. Mr. Looker, you do not have a partner Pokemon with you. Why? He did in Generations. What was it? Was it a Growlithe or something? All oh, police have a Growlithe. Come on, you gotta have a Growlithe at least. I cannot allow you to operate in a place where you are likely to encounter danger. Besides that, having such an experienced veteran as yourself serve as our backup is a vital task in operation like this one. Wait, you just said he was worthless. You just said he couldn't protect himself or do anything. So he needs to stay here. But because he's so powerful, he must stay here. Your logic, lady. How how do you have this position again? Who hired you? Understood, ma'am. Uh, Yo brains. Yo brains, they ain't working, girl. Then I must be off. Hamster, I wish you fortune in battle. Okay. Thanks, lady. Good luck out there, chief. 
You take these hamsters, I receive them from Madam Wiki. Oh, thank god, I get more of them. Okay, good. I was gonna say, how am I gonna- I don't know how many, uh, Ultra Beasts are in total, I don't remember. But I know there's more than what was released. I didn't look too much into them. I, I've, like, seen some photos. That's it. But, still. I was like, man, ten. That's like, you gotta catch each one each time, right? Oh, thank god, they gave us more. Which means that's all we're throwing. Till we're out. Thank god, because they're gonna give us more of these things. One more thing before you go. Madam Wiki finished analyzing all the data that we gathered on Heligo, aka UB Symbiont. What a weird name. I don't even remember what it would be called. It was called UB01 before. If you wish to learn more about that creature, you should speak with Madam Wiki in the Ether Paradise Secret Labs. Oh, okay, cool. So we'll actually like learn some information about these creatures. Maybe we should do that at the end of this episode. Depends. Do we have to catch four of these things? I don't know. Now, it is time we get to work, and I'm sure... I'm sh I'll be here if you need to ask me anything. Of course, because that's your job. I'm gonna go do mine, and... Whatever. Whatever. So, I gotta catch four of these things. Uh, Charizard, we got places to go, things to do. And honestly, I don't even know where Verdant Cavern is. Oh, wait. Oh, bottom screen. Right. So, um... Verdant Cavern. It's been a while, guys. I don't even remember. Where is that? Route 1... Oh yeah, that's my housey house house. Is it down here? Man, what? I don't know where that is. I don't remember. I'm reading everything right now. I'm trying to figure, oh, Verdon Cavern. It's somewhere around here actually. At least according to this. Great, this entire area, it's in here somewhere. All right, well, I guess we got no choice but to look around with my Sniffy Snuffer. All right, Sniffy Snuffer, we gotta find this place. You find yourself a cavern? Oh, you find yourself a cavern real good. That's what you're up to. Where's that cavern? That's the cemetery. That's definitely not right. Where did we run through before? Was it cavernous? Nope, this is the berry area. Definitely not right. Um, man, I gotta take my... S route 2. Okay, that's just generically route 2. Oh, wait a minute. Is there an area up here that I can enter in? If I pass through the ground... Oh, God. I got attack from behind. It gets to go first. Oh, it's just a Google Goosles. Go away, Mr. Google Woogles. I got important things to do. I'm trying to save the world. Sort of. From these really ugly bug things that are raining down from the sky. You know, it, apparently there's four of them. You might have seen them. I don't know. But if you did, uh, is this a cavern? It looks pretty cavernous to me. Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, that was just a shortcut. All right, so is this it right here? This thing. Whoa! I don't remember. Oh, wait, wait. Vernon Cavern. I'm assuming it's not that. That would make sense, right? If this is it, I'm gonna be like... Oh, uh, no, it's just a mobster. All right. No need for mobsters. Now, I think you can do random encounters on the ground in here, right? Pretty sure. Man, it's been a while. I actually never came back in here. As far as I'm aware, there is no point. There's probably a point. Like, there's probably... Oh, hey! Wow! Did I miss that before? Looks like there's something sparkling way out there. Definitely where we're heading, then. Let's head to it. Oh! Wait, no. Screw that. Never mind. It's just wildly out here. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know what it is, but it just bothers me. Ugh. It's speed rose sharply. Okay, they tell you what raises when it does a thing. But, um, ugh. It creeps me out. Is it two stages? Okay, yeah. It just looks, I don't know. There's something about it that I look at and I'm like, oh, ugh. And I look at Mimikyu and I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I guess there is something wrong with me. Whatever. But anyway, we're going to straight up Thunderway. First turn. Screw this thing. Lunge, what's that? What is lunge? Attack fell. Well, that's good. Now, okay, let me think here. Bug fighting. Maybe it's best that I use, um, leech life. Right? I'm gonna heal up a little bit. Um, that should have weakened it a little bit. Maybe slowed it down even. And I'm gonna try, um, leech life right now. Who's faster? It's still fast. Well, I guess I'm not surprised. It's just gonna go first. Not very effective. What is lunch? Attack fell again. So now I got two stages down on my attack, and it's resisted. 
was gonna say that should do nothing to you but um it surprisingly did a decent amount um I have no idea what their capture rates are but does ghost do anything fight I don't remember if fighting takes no ghost I'm pretty sure fighting takes no ghost but fairy should be I don't want to kill it we'd have to like go through all that dialogue again would we I don't know what happens if I kill one of them screw it let me check all oh, my attacks going down so much uh oh whoa oh oh that was lucky that was lucky baseball time wait actually wait 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 wait, wait. pokeball what pokeball why not pokeball one yeah it works you can catch him two three nice we captured it now is that it oh we go back now or what do we do so what i don't understand but still we caught one of them and now we get to read about its information in the deck so now it has a name as you saw pharaomosa pharaomosa okay it's just weird it makes me uncomfortable I don't like it it's just too human like and then where it's not human it's creepy and kind of gross looking so I'm like I don't know it's it's all kinds of creepy I don't like it at all check it out quick oh boy action that's your action you just kind of look down to the left a little bit kicks okay and glare with my eyes okay I get it. and that's it right wow that's bad okay one of the ultra beasts it refuses to touch anything perhaps because it senses some uncleanliness in this world excuse me that is very much touching something and you're telling me it is like so full of itself it won't even touch anything here other than the ground and you obviously but whatever kicks it does lots of kicks all sorts of kicks does that have a design on the back oh that's cool if you look through it through here it actually loses its outlines that's a nice touch but anyway next that's an awkward angle now um give it a nickname no how about we actually keep swapping these pokemon out in our party even though this is a horrible decision to do right now uh even though i honestly don't want it but it's our next one we get to take a look at it now so you successfully caught the UB still three more beasts to catch oh you do need to catch them I don't know why I threw a regular pokeball I just kind of wanted to to see if I could do it eh, eh, eh. oh god could have sworn that top one up there was sparkling and if I see sparkles you know I go running right you know trying to find a shiny which now is a good point to talk about Apparently, people found out that, um, the Ultra Beasts are all shiny locked. And, uh, now that we're talking about shiny locks in general, and here's the real problem I got with this. There's a lot, a lot of shiny locked Pokemon in this game. And when I say a lot, I mean, holy crap, they're all locked. Like, a lot of them are locked. Like, as in, if you add it up, and I'm not joking, 20% of all new Pokemon in this generation are shiny locked. All of the Guardian Pokemon, the Legendary Pokemon, all of the uh, Totem Pokemon, anything that shows up in a Totem Battle. There is also every single Ultra Beast. Add all of that up and ignore the Totem Pokemon just for the moment. Ignoring that. Not just Totem Pokemon, but any Pokemon we encountered while trying to find Totem Pokemon. Also Shiny Locked. Like, there's so many Shiny Locked Pokemon, it's absurd. Hey, we found another one. Good thing I did save, right? I saved that we caught one of them. We got apparently catch four. Man, why do you get so many? If anything, I liked Nihelgo more. Why do I only get one of him? Whatever. Fortunately, Retro is back up to full status. Probably should have used Leech Life on one of those rats to get full HP. But it's cool. I think we can take this thing. Oh, it's super effective. Okay, that's why Play Rough was so good. See, I didn't... So wait, is fighting weak to fairy? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Fairy's still kind of new to me. I've been playing Pokemon for a long time, so 
Fairy still gets me with what it does. It's weird. Lunge. There goes my disguise already, but it's fine. I'm going to try and stop it with a uh, Thunder Wave off the bat. Kerplunk. I wonder what its capture rate is. I wish that a Pokedex told you that. You know, that would be helpful information in the Pokedex. Like, you know, websites like Serebii and Bulbapedia are more helpful than the actual Pokedex in-game. Now, I think a Shadow Claw is in order. In my opinion. Though a Leech Life is going to be resisted, give me some HP. I think Shadow Claw is a better option, because it's going to do some damage. And I need that right now. Lunge. Dodged. Shadow Claw, please don't do a stupid amount here. It kind of did. Um, I'm going to Leech Life instead, because it's resisted to a little bit more, please. Because I don't know if this thing has, like, Legendary Catch Rate or what. But I'm just going to do a little bit more, and then give it a shot with a Beast Ball this time. Munch. I could play it risky and do that again. I would basically guarantee it, but if I critical hit, I will kill it. Bad idea. You know, this is exactly where Nihiligo was, so how about a Beast Ball? Why not? Let's give it a shot. We gotta get a, a set in a Beast Ball at the very least. Come on. One. Two. Three. Man, they're not hard to catch, are they? I'm overthinking this. These things have to be easier to catch. Why? I don't know. Take it as the game's being nice to you, right? Yeah, I'll give it a nickname. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. I was kidding. Fermosa's fine. Um, I guess... Send it to the box, or, or to the party. This one's got more HP than that one does. I, I can't believe we're catching multiples. This is so unheard of, if it's a legendary. Well, let's save our progress that we caught another one. I don't want to kill one. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to assume it's a bad thing. Very bad thing will happen. Hello, mister. It's very dangerous in here. Let me save you. Pretty tough to even attempt the trial. Wait. And you managed to get a Z-Crystal and finish. You be a trainer. You haven't changed what you've been saying this whole time? Whatever this is, I'm going to leech life it. Hopefully, it's um not a Diglett. Or a Zubat. Or something that's going to resist my bug move. So, anyway, screw that. Even though I'll probably still kill it. And it's only on level 10. Yeah, your HP is not going to matter. You know, now that they said it has a low chance on normal Pokemon, the Beast Ball, I kind of want to catch Pokemon in the Beast Ball. What shiny would be really cool in the Beast Ball? I mean, I'm still going to take advantage, full advantage of this, but when they're giving it to us, because clearly it's very good. But, um, or we're getting very lucky with it. It's one or the other. More than likely, it's that second thing. Um, so, Thunder Wave again, same strategy. Lunge it. Won't do anything on the first one. Disguise is broken. Fortunately, Mimikyu's given us a really good tactic here, blocking the first move, Thunder Waving. And then all we gotta do is hit it with a Shadow Claw, and then maybe heal up a little bit. Yeah, I'm still going to Shadow Claw here. Don't crit. Now, if it crits, it will kill it. Lunge is coming. Why does it do that every turn? Do you know anything else? I didn't even look yet, but... I don't think it knows anything else. It's just Lunge. Oh, God! Landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. What happens? I'm curious. We'll soft reset. But what happens? What does it say? You lost sight of it. But the hint of it is still lingering. So it's here still. Man, how forgiving. Well, I guess because you have to catch them. So I'm going to heal up Retro, who clearly wishes to be praised. While we're in here, let's actually take a look at one of these things. What are they like? Fermo signing a summary so I can capture the next two of you. Interesting cry. I don't know what I heard there. Beast boost. We gotta remember if they um, kill one Pokemon. Oh, wow. Interesting stats there. Wow, this one's actually really good. Oh, okay, it's not great, but it's it's buffing its speed, which is awesome. I think. Lunge. What is that? User makes a lunge of the target attacking with full force. This also lowers the target's attack stat. That's a pretty good move. That's Hitmontop's move. You can't have it. You're not cool enough to have that. Consecutive three kick attack that becomes more powerful with each consecutive kick. No, you can't have that. Bug Buzz and me first. 
No, I'm sorry. They're lunge. All of them are lunge, 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 lunge. So it implied that they are still here and we do not need to soft reset. In which case, let's run around and try and find them again. Does it have low HP or something? Thermosa appeared. Probably full healed. It would make sense because... You know, what if you had it down to no moves left and it was struggling, right? I don't know. Is it paralyzed? No. It's Maybe this is the fourth one. Retro is curious about my fashion sense here. Bug Buzz. Hey, it finally did something else. It, it waited till I actually checked. I'm like, do you know anything other than lunge? Whatever the heck that is. Alright, it's paralyzed. Now, this time, waiting for my attack to go down a little bit. No, it, it only happened because it was a crit. I'm gonna Shadow Claw again. Bug Buzz. Dodged it. Now, don't love me this time. Shadow Claw. Salai. Oh, God. Okay. We're fine. Actually, no. We can catch from here. We can do this. Beast Ball. Let's not be ridiculous now. We gotta catch these things. And then, uh, we have one more, supposedly, if it's out here. What an interesting ball. Like, what would be really cool in that to Shiny Hunt? Because now there's a new Pokeball, and it looks freaking wicked. I'm like, what goes in that? Huh. I don't know. What kind of shiny would you guys want in a ball like that? Because that ball looks freaking awesome. Would you like to give Pheromosa a nickname? Nope. No thanks. Send it to the box, please. Why couldn't we caught extras in the Helgos? Yeah, it says there's one more. Okay, cool. So even though you kill it, it's still out there. Okay, that's great. Rat, please. Nope. It's a diglet dig, diglet dig. Thought about shiny hunting him. Not sure. Also thought about shiny hunting uh, like a Grimer. But the thing is, like, for how colorful the Grimer and the Muck are, the shinies are so not colorful. They picked colors that they already had. So the Muck gets even pinker. And by that I mean, like, there's pink everywhere. And it's not even like an exciting, bright, saturated pink. It's like a dull, kind of grayish pink. It's just a disappointing shiny. For how cool the Pokemon's normal form is. Like, a very rare case where I think the normal form with Pokemon's colors looks significantly better than its shiny. Uh, there's a couple that I can think of now that uh, I know are like that. Especially in this gen with Mudsdale. Holy... I don't know, but there's a lot of awesome shinies in this gen. I love a lot of the shinies. Obviously, I've shiny hunted plenty of Pokemon. I was going to say, that w that bridge was the point when we need to have that battle. A Zubat is here. Screw Bat the Zubat. We don't want to fight with no Zubat. Maybe we should hold off till we're done with all the um, Ultra Beast stuff to go back to Eat the Paradise and, um, you know, read up on what kind of Pokemon the ones were. Because obviously it's going to get a little scrambled regardless. Like, if I went back after the end of this, like I said, then we're going to be... Um, reading about Nihaligo, and then after this, it's going to be reading about Pheromosa, I assume. So. Sounds kind of weird. How do they even get access to my P.O. Box? I don't give out my password like that. So, would this be better if I used a Repel? Just starting to think, you know, would I Repel all of the low-level Pokemon and then just find Pheromosa? Maybe we should do that next time. I'm not sure. I'm going to hang out here by the entrance. There we go. It's kind of hoping it would just appear for me. Here we go. So, Pheromosa appeared. I wish on the first one they gave you a hint of where to go. Maybe they did and I didn't catch it. Speed rose sharply again. Here's Retro. Alright, Retro, we got one last one and somehow it is healed. I don't understand, but this game's very forgiving. Thunder Wave. Bug Buzz that already knocks out my disguise. It's fine, I knew it was gonna happen. Kerplunk. I'm fine, Thunder Wave. Buzzittles. That's the noise that these moves make, by the way. Got you. Now, with that out of the way, we're going to Shadow Claw. Because I know now it matters, or you know, it doesn't matter if you kill them or not. They'll come right back to life. Slash, and perfecto. Beast Ball. Catch that sucker. Be done with it. Oh, critical capture Beast Ball. Are you kidding me? Shake, and dink. There was no chance. There was no chance. Alright, and Gotcha Pheromosa was caught. Awesome. And I hope they give us another uh, set of 10 after this. Man, they're really generous with this. 
Uh, no nickname for now, and, um, send it to a box. I'm, I... Sure. He's successfully completed the mission. Return to Looker. Oh, I thought that was the exit. My bad. Where is he? Okay, here we go. So, now with that out of the way, we can go back to Looker and figure out what the Bedingle Wingles is happening. And that's the specific term, and I really don't want to run through this grass. Like, I really don't want to run through this grass. So I'm going to fly down to... Of course I can't. <laughs> Alright then, so never mind. Uh, oh, look, there was a way through it. I didn't realize that. Well, never mind. We all make mistakes sometimes. Sometimes I just kind of suck at Pokemon. So, this all out of the way. We can now figure out what the heck that triggered. Hey, dude. Guess what? I done did a thing. But here, actually, how about this? Because more than likely, as soon as we talk to him, he's going to, you know, finish this event and maybe start the next um, Ultra Beast thing. Let's stop here instead so we can save the introduction to maybe a new one for the next episode. This was a lot of fun, really interesting way that they're doing this. Giving us four of a legendary, like, Pokemon? If it's a Pokemon, I don't know. What do you guys think these things, like, really categorize as? They're in the Pokedex, so I don't really know what to call them. Plus, we can catch them, too. In Pokeballs, not just the Beast Ball. So it's weird. It's really weird. I don't know what they really are, but I'm, I'm going to hopefully, you know, get some input from you guys down in the comments below. But either way, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Moon. Bye!